Welcome to this Windows channel and this is the Tech News Update. We are Saturday, October 28th, 2017. Today in our Tech News Update, we have the Facebook that has decided to follow Twitter, saying that they will make advertisements more transparent and we'll be able to have more of an idea of where it's been coming from. And uh, basically this is, of course, to try to... Uh, Stop the government in the U.S. from maybe doing some really serious rules. Um, a lot of lawmakers are now really thinking that Facebook needs to be regulated. And, uh, well, if Facebook's regulated, probably a lot of websites, including Twitter, will be. So we'll see how this affects and works on the behalf. And we've learned also that Google itself isn't really doing anything about it, which is kind of interesting. Will all of these be regulated at the same time? Probably. IT security. A report says that too many companies actually ignore warnings when they receive them. And, of course, as a result, their companies get hacked or get, you know, all sorts of personal and corporate information stolen by bad guys. And they say that IT security companies and IT security uh, researchers and you know workers need to really be proactive and do a lot more than what they're doing right now. Basically, this report just says what I always think. Think about security being you, not the companies. They don't care. The New York Times is actually launching a Tor version of its website. What's that? Well, if you um, know a little bit about technology, Tor is a browser that lets you go into the dark web or the web that is encrypted. And basically, the reason why the New York Times is doing this, they say that too many people around the world have censorship, have the government preventing them from seeing some websites. By going into Tor version, that means that these, actually, these people can actually go on the dark web and search for the New York Times and view the news, the real news, according to the New York Times. So this is an interesting experiment, and um, I don't know if others will follow, but kind of cool. You know, we know Facebook is there also because they know that some people, some of its users, are in countries that are very, very difficult to really, um, you know, be able to say anything because of government rules and also some, you know, a lot of people on the Internet that wants to voice what they actually think of their own governments are really being closely followed on the web. So by having Tor versions of different websites enables them to be encrypted and maybe a little safer. Well, Google searches won't let you get results from another country by changing the domain name. So of course, uh, for example, here in Canada we have google.ca, the US or major version is google.com, but each country has its own variation. So, for example, google.it for Italy, and so on. Now, the thing is, you could, if you wanted, change that and go to a domain that was in a specific country and do a search and have the results that are from that country. Now, that won't work anymore. If you try to search, for example, for something in France and you try to go to google.fr, well, you'll actually get results from your local area now. The only way to actually do something about that is when you do searches, you can actually go to the settings. The settings in the searches will let you change the country you are in. That's the only way now that it's going to work. Well, the iPhone 10 is really creating um, kind of a little stir when, my, when Apple released the prices for a repair. So you drop your iPhone 10 and the screen is broken, 279 bucks. Something else is broken inside, 579 bucks. And a lot of people, a lot of groups that actually try to help consumers say, whoa, this is way, way too expensive and should not cost as much as that. So, um, well, you got an iPhone 10, better not drop it because it's going to cost you. Well, uh, maybe you're thinking of, you know, having a little startup. You're seeing all these companies, these tech companies that, you know, make billions in just a few short years. 
and uh, that other companies buy like Facebook and so on. So you're thinking, hey, it's a good way to make some money. Well, a little study looking at tech startups say that 97%, you got it, 97% of all the tech startups fail within the first year. And that 3% that's left, about 80% of them fail in the next year. That gives you an idea that if you want a tech startup, it's a very difficult thing to do. And the idea behind this news item is not to prevent you from doing it because it's a fantastic experience. But think about your product. Think about how difficult it is before you do so. And finally, a study says that we are way off in what we think about how technology will be affected by solar flares. They say that we really need to change our ways, the way that we do things. We need to protect our technology from major solar flares. They are taking an example of uh, a few years ago when there was a major solar flare that missed Earth. But they say that if it would actually reached Earth, it would have created a major catastrophe. It would have cost billions of dollars and a lot of our technology would have failed because of that solar flare. And that we have to think about it because even though the chances aren't very high, the chances are not zero. And someday we'll actually be bitten by the solar flare that will actually destroy satellites and our communications the way that we see it today. And so this was the Tech News Update for Saturday, October 28th, 2017. You enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching have a great weekend and see you monday when we'll come back with more videos